Highway robbery. We will sacrifice a land. Salim divisions. Keep the combo going. It's working. Oh my goodness, it's actually working. Crack all three. Come on. We will throw away swift water cliffs. Draw two. Make a treasure. Okay. And then we fiery impulse one of our own creatures. Did we do it? Did we get there? Oh my goodness, we did it! Hello my fiery friends, the Inferno Man here with the hottest in budget deck technology. And for today's deck tech, you all voted on it, we're going to be playing with otters today. Well, we're going to try to kind of go a little bit off the beaten path of it, instead of just playing pure creature cards. And instead, we're going to see if we can combo off with a hilariously janky and a little bit spicy combo. Say what? So, without further ado, join me today in the Explorer format for a deck that's going to try to go super wide with a ton of tokens. This is... Otter Storm. But before we continue, if you do like any of the content that I do, please like, follow, and subscribe wherever you watch the content. You can support me monthly for a small amount on Patreon where I have all of my extended bonus footage posted, or for free, all you can just do also is just join our growing community on Discord. Your support helps keep this channel going. All links are in the details below. Long time viewers of the channel know how we do it. We have to talk about the stats of the deck before we dive right in. So as I mentioned earlier, this is an otter deck that's using is it colors, which are going to be blue and red. You're looking at an average mana curve of about 2.5. We're walking 13 creatures, 16 instants, nine sorceries, one enchantment and 21 lands. All we're trying to do ideally is try to resolve one specific otter wizard in our whole deck that we can then chain off a ton of spells, gain a ton of tokens of it and go super wide and overwhelm our opponent out of nowhere. But how exactly can we pull that off with only just a couple of otters in the whole deck? Good question. So as always, let's begin with the creatures in our deck. So in the two drops that we have Stormcatch Mentor. This is literally just a glow up version of Goblin Electromancer. Honestly, it does the exact same thing as the Goblin Electromancer used to do, which is instant sorceries you cast will then be one less to cast, but it also has haste and prowess, making it way better than the Goblin was. Sorry, Goblin Electromancer, you've literally just been outclassed. Oh no, God! Going into the three drop slot, we have Valley Floodcaller here. This is also one of our cool cards here, then it's also key to our whole game plan. Valley Floodcaller is a three mana, two, two Otter Wizard with Flash, and it reads, you may cast non-creature spells as though they had Flash. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, birds, frogs, otters, and rats you control will get plus one, plus one until end of turn and untap them. So this will, of course, will just pump up all of our otters to do a lot of extra heavy damage to overwhelm our opponent and hopefully close out the game. Of course, the main star of our show is in the four drop slot, and it's going to be Storm Splitter. So we have to talk about this card and tell you exactly what we're trying to do. Storm Splitter is a four mana, one four otter wizard with haste, and it reads, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you create a token that's a copy of Storm Splitter. Exile that token at the beginning of your end egg step. This card is insanely good for what it's trying to do. All you were just trying to do is, again, just spling off a ton of spells, utilizing Valley Flood Caller and a combination of Storm Splitter. But even if you don't have the Flood Caller, as long as you can just keep chaining together a bunch of spells you'll create enough tokens to hopefully just go wide and overwhelm your opponent to win the match we do have one more otter in the five drop slot and this will be the one and only alania divergent storm so we will talk about this briefly so this is a legendary otter wizard that's a five mana three five and it reads whenever you cast a spell if it's the first instant first sorcery or the first otter spell other than alania itself you've cast this turn you may have target opponent draw a card if you do copy that spell you may choose new targets for the copy just as a reminder they're talking about of course the card you're actually casting yourself not your opponent's card to put it another way think of alania is mostly just a win more card sometimes she can actually win on her own with the copies of extra otters we may have but that's honestly not necessary she's mostly just here as extra support to help out with the whole game plan now as far as all the spells we want to sling to then get the most value out of our otters we'll of course start once again with the one drops we have three steps ahead here with the spree ability so we can either choose to make it either a counter spell we can make a token of a copy of an artifact or a creature we control or of course we can just loot by drawing two cards and discarding a card 
Fiery Impulses is going to be helpful for a little bit of spot removal, and of course it'll get more powerful if we can then trigger the Spell Mastery. Spike Field Hazard here doesn't do much as a one damage instant, but however, we can also utilize it as a tap land in a pinch. Impulse here to do a little bit more digging for other cards. Make Disappear is one of our counter spells. Since we do have copies of other otters we may have, we can then take advantage of that with the casualty ability if we do need to then stop any one of our opponent's spells. We also have a single copy of Negate here. For other spells that we may have, we can also just use Come to a River here. This will help us, of course, either make sure we can get through our damage or we can bounce something away that just don't want to deal with. Maybe it has, I don't know, First Strike or maybe it has Death Touch and we don't want to then destroy one of our otters in the process. Highway Robbery here, just a single copy of it. With the plot ability, if we plan this early on, you can cast this for free to help make sure that we can keep the chain of spells going. Obliterating Bolt is a much more stronger option for us to then exile any enemy creature or planeswalker that they have. A Sorcerer class, just a single copy of this, but again, if we can then chain together maybe a couple of extra spells and then make a bunch of extra token copies, that extra level 2 or even level 3 ability can also help us close out the game as more of a plan B option for the deck. We also are going to have single copies of Hornswoggle here. This is very, very specific. However, this is also going to be very beneficial because it creates a treasure token. And you'll see a couple of our spells here can also make treasure tokens for us to help keep the game plan going. We also have Pearl of Wisdom here. This is really what's one of the more unique card draw spells for otters because it'll cost one less to cast if you control an otter. However, we can also make it even cheaper with Stormcatcher Mentor. This is actually really sweet because you can make this basically a one mana draw two, which is extremely powerful for the deck. A single copy of Salindi Visions, just again to help dig out stuff similar to, again, Impulse here, but also it can be a tap land in a pinch. And to wrap it up, the two final pieces that are going to help chain together everything and ensure that we can get our whole game plan going with all of our Storm Splitters is going to be Flick a Coin and Seize the Spoils. Six copies among the two of them, with two for Flick a Coin and four for Seize the Spoils, just to ensure that as we keep chaining our spells together, we need to make sure we have just enough mana to make sure we go wide enough. That's why we will need both. With Seize the Spoils here, it can help us draw two cards and create a treasure, and of course with Flick a Coin here, we can then also draw one card and create a treasure. In terms of lands, we're as always going to keep it as simple as possible because we are a budget deck, but you do notice as I mentioned earlier, we do have a couple of modal lands, so these are tapped, but that doesn't hurt us too much as we're trying to just load up everything before we combo off. But going back to the lands, we have six islands, six mountains, some eroded canyons, and swift water cliffs because one will ping for damage and one will gain us life, and a single copy of blast zone here just in case we do need to clear the board if things go a little too awry with our game plan. And as always, for those of you who are interested in best of three and you do want to play this in that format, here's your best options for your sideboard. To get Tormod's Crypt here, because again, it's free and it does trigger off with the prowess ability, so that's actually really sweet for us for basically a free spell that also can exile an opponent's graveyard. Get an extra copy of an offer you can't refuse here. This may look a little strange, but ideally there might be some situations where this can actually help you combo off. Maybe you can counter one of your own spells just to give you a little extra ramp with treasures to make sure you can finish off your opponent. Gossip's Talent here is also another interesting option right here because, again, whenever a creature we control enters, we get to surveil one. For some of our times where we're going to have to storm off, whenever we make those extra copies of Storm Splitter, we want to make sure that we can then draw into what we need. But its other abilities, if we are going to have a longer game, can also be great for us to ensure we can push through damage no matter what against an opponent. Confiscation Mage here is mostly if you want to flip the deck into becoming from instead of a stormy just go wide strategy into more of a burn style deck. But this is again going to be something that's very situational depending on what your opponent is playing. As far as the counter spells, you'll have an extra copy of Negate here if you just want to pull that in. A Tetsas Talents here can help just snipe certain instances of sorceries that may trouble you in a best of three so you can get those out of the way. An extra copy of Obliterating Bolt. A copy of Filter out here just to bounce everything away if your opponent is mostly a control deck and they have a lot of non creature spells that are on the battle field. Raven form is going to be for more of those troublesome cards that you have a hard time either beating down with damage, so then you can just exile them and get them out of the way to make them a cheap bird. And finally, if you have to tap down an entire game plan against us, use sleep, which may look a little weird. Well, hear me out for a second. You have to remember that again, Valley Floodcaller here allows you to then cast those spells as if they had flash. So in other words, sleep here is hilariously awesome when you have a Valley Floodcaller out. But with all that out of the way, we have to ask, of course, the most important question now that we finish the deck. Is it possible to have all of our otters storm off and go either super big or super wide and explore on a budget? Good question! I don't know about you, but this deck seems like it's going to be extremely hilarious if we manage to pull it off. So let's see if we can get some matches in and let's see how well the deck does. All right, my five friends, here we go. Can we storm off with some otters today? Well, the good news is we do have our lands. Tap land is slow, but that's okay. We usually don't need mine tap lands in a deck like this because we're slowly trying to build up our value before we just storm off. So we'll get our swift cliff. Do it. Swift water clips in. Wow, I cannot say words again. But okay. 
Okay. Billow is cold dweller. Okay. Looks like it's gonna be a toxic deck, I guess. So okay. That's fine with us. We will pass here. See what they do. They could swing. Swamp. They swing. So fiery impulse. Okay, that's out of here. Stall, stall, stall is the name of the game right now. So we'll plop this away for a later turn. Surprise tool, if you will. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. Okay, another land. Come on, deck. Give me a land, and we should be good to go. All the dead world. Okay. I mean, they want to spend full price while that's fine. I'm not worried about that. So with that, we will pass here. We're going to flash in Valley Flood Caller, and that should be good for us. Like this, we're down to 20. We get one poison counter. Valley Flood Caller. But I have to assume they probably have some kind of removal. So let's see. Do you have removal opponent? Yes, they do. It's fine. It's okay, everybody. We still have plenty of time, so I'm not concerned. But otherwise, Storm Capture Mentor. We will now seize the spoils. We'll throw away... Let's see what we do right here. I guess we'll throw away the other season spoils. Kind of awkward, but that's okay. Draw some cards. Make a treasure. We will... Okay, how do we do this here? I think... Just swing here. And pass. If they have another Master's Rebuke, we can always just bounce away their card, and that should fizzle it completely. Kisa. Scary, but it's not the worst against us. Two counters. All right. So let's see how we do this. All right. So I think, again, we might have to just wait it out. We will flash in Flood Collar. Flick a coin, and we can hopefully seize the spoils at instant speed, which actually would be pretty good. But our opponent right now is Collected Company, so what are they going to hit? Oh, they got Finn, and they got a Skull Rilla. Yikes. Alright, let's see if we can get through this. So, Valley Flood Caller. We will then flick a coin on Billow Skull Dweller. Oh, take that out. Draw a card. Ooh, Pearl of Wisdom is actually pretty good off of that. Get some more pump. Not that we really need it. We're just trying to draw into action. So with that, no blocks. Kind of shame, though. We had to lose all that. So, either way. So they'll draw a card and they'll lose a life. But that's honestly what we like. Okay. So, we still don't have what we need. Sword Water Glyphs. Highway Robbery. Pump. We'll sacrifice that list we just put in. Sorcerer's class is also not bad either. Okay, so, how do we do this here? Okay, I think Pearl of Wisdom. Come on, deck. Can we pump it up here? All right, seize the spoils. Okay, let's see. Seize the spoils. Actually, might be able to pull it off right here. More pump. <laughs> this is actually not too shabby. Ooh, okay. Can we hold off a turn for Storm Splitter, or should we just get greedy right now and just smash our way through with what they got? I think the best solution here is Fiery Impulse. Take out Finn. He's gone. And bounce away. Billow of Skull Dweller. Wow. We almost got it off just from here. Okay. Nice. 18. And look at that, everybody. We didn't even need the Storm Splitter. We got our opponent just as this by pumping up everything. Woo! All right, look at that. Yeah, otters. Okay, my fire friends, here we go. Can our otters get us a victory by storming off? Well, the good news is we do have at least one otter that makes things cheaper, but we're gonna be still a little slow with what we're trying to do here. I guess it all depends on what our opponent's trying to do. Oh, our opponent's diamond? Well, that's not fair. They're a whole nother tier above us, if that makes a difference. Okay, island, the enigma jewel. Okay. I wonder if going to try some kind of combo here, but we'll see. Let us play a Rota Canyon. Ping him for one. And your turn, opponent. What do you got? What are you trying to pull off here? Some kind of mono blue artifacts? Nothing yet. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we did get our Storm Flitter. That's great. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. But we'll see if we have a chance here. We will try. Ow, they got that resolve. Unless they have something else in hand. I guess we'll attack, but... Oh, wow. I was expecting the worst there, but we got free damage in. 
Hmm. What exactly are they playing then? Let's see, remember this is for activate abilities. Interesting. There's Marcher Worldly Worldly Lights, so that means that we just lost our creature, but that's okay. We still got time. It's fine. We will pass here. All we just need to do is get Storm Splitter to hold its own. Make this appear. We can't have them do their thing with that. Not with the Enigma Jewel out. So that slows them down just a little bit. Ooh, and make, another Make Disappear is not bad. So how do we do this here? I don't think our opponent's going to empty their hand, but we are going to hopefully get a couple more lands so we can just go off with Storm Splitter here. Although if we only just had one cheap interaction, that would help us out. Until then, we're going to have to keep countering these Collector's Vaults just for a bit longer. Another Storm Splitter. Okay, so this is how we do it. Put one down. If our opponent has removal, they're going to have to waste a lot of cards if they're using... For example, March of Otherworldly Light. Okay, resolves. Down to 17. Okay, well, this is your shot, opponent. Do you have an answer for this? Narset. Oh. That's disgusting. That actually stops us. Well, this stinks. So here's how we do this. We will find a way out of this. here, hit here, just to make sure they can't not get rid of it. If they have a wrath, that's mostly what's going to shut us down right now. A few moments later. And there's the wrath. Okay. Well, now we're in an awkward spot here because we need a way to ping. But we couldn't draw a card there, so that's unfortunate. Come on, opponent. What else you got? shock themselves. Out of 14. Confounding riddle. Another card. They mill. And we'll just draw some cards here. Draw two. We have to discard a card. So what do we discard here? I guess we'll throw away the sorcerer class. Stormcatch and Mentor is not horrible. But we'll see. Does our opponent have another answer? Okay, so far it resolves. There you go, swinging. Down to 13. Four cards in hand with removal immediately. There it is. Yep. So, I guess at this point, maybe we'll just try to see if we can ping off just a little bit here. Our obliterating bolt will be okay for later. Fiery impulse doesn't help us out right now. We're going to have to kind of expend a little bit here just to get some more action going. Okay, draw two cards. Plot away the high robbery. And pass. Okay, come on, deck. One more Storm Splitter, and we should be good. Wow, okay. Looks like our opponent is still taking their sweet time trying to figure things out here. All we just need, again, on our plan is we just need to find another Storm Splitter, at least something else that'll help us do our thing. The good news, however, is even if with another Narset, we can still Obliterating Bolt at least for a little bit longer. So, we're not completely out of this. Okay, Narset getting Obliterating Bolted. All right, exiled. I have reached my All right, not what I want to do, but we need to keep digging. Okay, so that's our next Storm Slitter, which is great. So, we just have to hold down for a turn. Founding riddle. Okay. They're digging for an answer. Okay. They gotta commit to memory. That's a little scary, but they don't have enough mana for it yet. Okay. Whew. Can we do this here? Let us mountain. Storm splitter. Is this the turn? Or does our opponent stop us? Oh my god, it actually resolves. Okay. Let's try. Let's try everybody. Highway Robbery. We will sacrifice a land. We will get rid of one of the mountains. Oh my goodness, I think we're going off. Can we do this here, everybody? Let us... Slim Divisions. Keep the combo going. Come on, deck. It's working. Oh my goodness, it's actually working. 
Oh my goodness. Can we do this here? Crack all three. Come on. We will throw away swift water cliffs. Come on, deck. Don't fizzle now. Draw two. Make a treasure. Okay. And then we fire an impulse one of our own creatures. Awkward, but it does work. Did we do it? Did we get there? Oh my goodness, we did it! Oh, our opponent did not want us to swing there, but you got the idea, everybody. We did it. <laughs> Woo! Our opponent didn't let us have the satisfying final swing, but you saw right there. Oh man, we had just enough to go off. Wow, we barely got there, but nice. All right, Life Fighter friends, here we go. Can our otters make a victory with a giant storm package of spell slinging? Well, let's see. So we do have a couple of lands here. We do have Storm Catcher, Fiery Impulse, Spike Field Hazard. A little bit slow, but let's keep this. Maybe we can build up to what we need over a turn or two. All right, Forest. Okay, well, nothing else from our opponent there. Erode Canyon. Let's go ahead, let's ping them. Down to 19. Okay, so the game plan right now. We can get Stormcatch Mentor out. Maybe we can hopefully maybe just remove a couple of key creatures and maybe we can just ride out our single otter. We'll see. Okay, the forest. Okay, nothing from our opponent yet. That's fine. So I guess, unless they have a flashy creature, we'll just swing in and get some free damage. Well, we also have Valley Floodcaller, which is also going to be great if we could just get it to stick. We'll see. Opponents, you there? Are they thinking about what they want to do? Okay, another forest. Okay, auger of autumn. Interesting. All right. Well, island. All right, so we got a pearl of wisdom. This is going to be, going to be pretty sweet here. Okay, pearl of wisdom. Draw two for one. That's pretty awesome. Okay, and then with that, let's see if we can get a free swing in here. Does our opponent block? Probably not. Okay. So then we'll just do two damage, down to 16. So we do this by seize the spoils. We will throw the spike field hazard. Pump up, draw two, make a treasure, fiery impulse. Make sure our opponent doesn't get too much hard advantage. We do lose a little bit of damage from that, but it's okay. Spyward armadillo, okay. Oh, well, they're getting a desert card. So our opponent is doing ramping, but I don't know what they're ramping into. Might be something big, might be something scary. Hopefully, whatever they do, hopefully we can get something quick to just go wide. Is there opponents? I like to play Magic someday. Anytime now. Anytime now. All right, there we go. They put down their force. All right, so with that, uh, I guess we'll put down the Swift Water Cliffs. Gain a life. We will then swing again. Down to 18. Again, it doesn't look like our opponent is trying to do anything majors yet, because they know we're not doing heavy damage. But, at the very least, we're going to start setting up soon. Harmonious Immersions. Do we care about that? We'll let that go, because it is tapped. So, Valley Flood Color coming in. Okay, so the good news now is we do have things starting to set up. So, this is great. So, let's see. How do we do this here? I think Sorcerer Class. Get the pump going. Okay, not too bad. I'm going to do some heavy damage here this turn. All right, here we go. Storm Splitter is here, everybody. We're going to see if we can go off very quickly here. Let me throw away. I'm going to throw away probably the, the dust card, too, which I don't want, but we don't have a choice here. So you come to a river, make disappear. What would you keep kept? And then I guess we'll pick up level two. Go swing here. Down to 12. Okay. The stage is set, everybody. If we could just have this stick for one turn, we should be able to go off and just beat down our opponent very quickly here. Come on, opponent. Tap out. Tap out. Come on. Tap out, and you're good to go. Ooh, okay. Make this appear. Not afford to have this die on us. If they tap it out, that's fine. Okay, so they do tap out. That's okay. Down, but again, not the worst. Okay, so here's how we do this here. Storm Splitter. We will then put down an island. Seize the spoils. Come on, deck. Go off for me. This is all we need to do. Okay. Hmm. Well, we kind of awkwardly fizzled there, so... Oops. 
Let's look at what we got. Down to eight. Man, we actually did not get a spell there. That is really awkward. But we do have Alania, so she might still help. Our opponent also is kind of struggling on land. Well, they actually have lands now, but we don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, they might s sacrifice? Oh, they do. I mean, that's fine. That is one less creature on the field. Ooh, Flicker Coin's are actually pretty sweet here. Okay, so let's see. Can we do this here? Lania. We will then flick a coin. Ping them. Come on, deck. Don't fail me. We will gift. Let them draw a card. Ping again. An eight. Draw a card. Prowess. And a seven. Okay, so with that, we will seize the spoils. We will toss away Storm Splitter. All right, we're doing it. I right, think draw another card. Draw two. <laughs> yes, it's going off. We're doing it. Okay. Can we finish it here? Okay, we will seize the spoils again. And there you go, everybody. Yes, that's how you do it, everybody. We didn't get to quite finish it there, but you got the idea. We were just going to start chaining everything off, and we were about to then just take down our opponent. Oh, man, opponent, you should have just let us swing there. And there you have it, everybody. So that was our budget otter storm for you in Explorer. And you tell me in the comments below, what do you think? Would you play this deck in any way, shape, or form? Truth be told, I really love what the deck is trying to do, and it is hilarious when we can just chain off a bunch of spells. But as you can see, what ends up happening is... Our biggest weakness is if we can't chain everything together, the deck kind of fizzles out quite quickly. Also, one of our other biggest issues is if we can't pull out one of our key pieces to help us get us win. So in other words, we get our Sorcerer class blown up. If our opponent just destroys all of our Storm Spitters, if our opponent destroys all the Storm Splitters we have, that's when the deck kind of feels a little bad. So just keep those things in mind if you are looking at a more combo-ish, just Spellslinger deck overall. However, as you saw, even when we have a couple fizzles, as long as we can just rebound even off of one or two spells, once we chain everything off, it is really awesome and it feels so good to just get a giant army of otters out. Now, if you are interested in taking this to the next level, and of course, for those of you who watched this far into the video, thank you so much. You are my true fiery friends. And for that, we're going to reward you, as always, by showing you how you can make this deck even bigger and better than it currently is. As far as upgrades for the whole deck, honestly, it will just come down to whatever is going on in the meta. And what I mean by that is you're just going to have to adjust your instant sorceries just depending on whatever you're going to have to deal with. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, the pile can mostly just stay the same as is. And Keep everything mostly intact with a couple of minor tweaks. You'll notice that I have been now Prismari Command as a better option for you in the instant slot here. This allows you to at least pick two of the options. So this can give you, again, a treasure if you need to. Destroy an artifact. You can just do some looting by drawing two, discarding two, or do a little extra damage just to help close out your game. We're going to also throw in now a copy of Valakut Awakening. This can help you kind of just reset your hand if you are missing maybe a key spell or two just to help you go off. The only other tweak that I would say is, although I much as I loved our otter, game plan with drawing cards this might be a better option for you is going to be treasure cruise here allowing you to get three cards for one mana again if ideally everything pans out the way it does is actually pretty good however we don't want too many copies so just two copies will be just enough for us just to get through the game and as always and i know y'all been a broken record saying this so bear with me one more time but as always upgrade your mana base just to help you get the most out of it even if you don't do anything else but upgrade your mana base you can keep the whole deck as is and just upgrade those so as always get your castle vantress here that's going to help you out with digging otawara here soaring city for a bounce effect if you need one down of the bugbear will be your choice creature land if you just need to go wide and just hopefully close out the game from there trim down your mountains keep your shivan reefs now to put those in as now your dual land along with spider bluff canal and steam vents and you can keep that extra copy of blast zone here just as your pseudo wrath if you need that all in a pinch as far as the sideboard upgrades same thing you don't really have to change much of anything here but again the small tweaks that i would give you would be just adding in copies of cyclonic rift instead the overload ability will be expensive but if at least you can have at least one of your storm catchers out this will be a lot more cheaper if you choose to do so and the only other small tweak i would give is you can add in a single copy of roiling vortex here just to give you a slow but ensured way to ping out your opponent if you just want to do that and of course turn off their life gain if they intend on trying to go off with their own game plan.
But with that out of the way, here are my final thoughts that I just want to give on the deck. When it comes to otters in the terms of a creature type, unlike the other Bloomboro creatures that we've talked about previously, squirrels, frogs, lizards, you get the idea, those ones are more about mid-range value, whereas our otters here are more about being extremely polarizing and dynamic. When they fizzle, it really feels painful. However, when they go off, they are extremely explosive, and sometimes out of nowhere, you can get your wins. And I think that's honestly the best thing that differentiates otters from all the other creature types, even among is it spell singing decks. To put it another way, if you're a fan of combo decks, if you're a fan of spell slinging, and if you're a fan of getting massive explosive turns out of nowhere to overwhelm your opponent and sometimes come out of nowhere to get your victories, then I would definitely say give this deck a try. And I assure you, when you manage to build up an entire army of storm splitting otter wizards out of nowhere to go super wide, you'll have a lot of fun doing so. You'll be very surprised at how it can pull it off with just a budget deck. And I assure you, you'll definitely not be disappointed. That's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching everyone, and just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. Later!